All right, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the bamboo again. Um, unfortunately, it's been really windy the past couple days, and I'm not really anticipating it stopping anytime soon. So this is going to be a voiceover. Um, as you can see, we've been chopping out all of the bamboo stumps, which by we, I mean my husband, because... He's much better with an axe than I am. Um, but he's been doing a wonderful job of clearing up the space. And we didn't really want to dig around the trees too much because we don't want to damage them. So he's been using the um, axe. He did get a pickaxe, but the handle just didn't hold hold up very well. And he hasn't been able to get a replacement handle for it. So he's gone back to using the axe. You can see there's a few that haven't come out yet. Those ones are almost ground level. But some of them in this area were pretty bad. They were, you know, anything from an eighth of an inch to two or three inches out of the ground. Some were flat on top and annoying to step on. And some were like like little daggers that were quite painful to step on, even through a shoe. So the idea is that he's been clearing out the stumps on the edge here. Um, and then just working in strips. So along the edge of the driveway. And then in strips throughout this space. Clearing out the stumps as much as possible. With, of course, the most obnoxious being done first. And that way, um, we can use the mower to cut the bamboo back. Of course, I still um, bring in the shovel every once in a while when I have time. Um, but if we're busy, we can use the, uh, the mower just to maintain the height of the bamboo so as you can see this is a chunk that was chopped out with the axe nice little wedge of roots there and then we just burn those in our fire pit which can be entertaining as they occasionally explode um <laughs> make a nice loud firecracker popping sound so like I said, I can come in with a shovel if I have time and energy and nothing else to do. Or we can just take the mower through here. And I'd like to find a picture of what this looked like before they cut all the bamboo back. Uh, because I have seen street views of the house. I'll put it up here on the side if, if I can find one. But... You, If you stood out on the septic field out here and you turned around, you would not be able to see anything. From about here all the way through back there, you couldn't see that house. You couldn't see the tops of the trees or the garage or anything. It was just a grove of bamboo, completely solid all the way through. So what we've got going on now isn't perfect. It hasn't eradicated the bamboo. Perhaps someday if we keep it up, the bamboo will actually die off. Um, but at least for now, we're keeping it at bay and we don't have to worry about it too much. We have a couple of crepe myrtles that are growing back from stumps. They have such pretty flowers. There's that one and also this one. This one had been cut to the ground. I wasn't even sure it was a stump over there. There's some more bamboo stumps um so this one took longer to start growing back because it had been cut back all the way uh, but hopefully someday we'll have a couple of really nice crepe myrtles and i don't know what color the flowers will be i don't even know if i hope that they match like maybe maybe a white would be nice i'm not a big fan of the purple but anyway this space is turning out really nicely and the kids love playing under here um, we're considering maybe someday building some kind of a tree house in this space. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But for now, 
things are turning out nicely and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.